I'm super excited. Um, we're fully deployed. And just about an hour ago, uh, we performed our final mid-course correction. We, of course, had a series of steps um, to take to ensure safety, uh, like making sure that our storage system momentum uh, was below the expected threshold. Uh, we had to uplink our ephemeris, uh, which is basically a table of our expected positions on each axis um, over a period of time. And we worked very closely with the flight dynamics team for the positioning data and these burns. Uh, we also had to activate specific heater groups uh, to ensure that we were warm enough to start. Uh, and then we were able to beautifully execute uh, the burn, which, like I said, was about five minutes. Uh, and so we're now at our orbital destination and soon enough be able to make amazing discoveries. Yeah. Wow. What a ride this last month has been. I mean, it started with this spectacular launch on Christmas morning. Um, what a what a beautiful, beautiful thing to happen. And, you know, the launch itself was super efficient, just almost perfect, as perfect as it could go. And um, so, you know, thanks to our ESA partners and Ariane Sposs for providing us with such an awesome rocket. Um, and then, of course, the hard part started. You know, the next two weeks were filled with these intense deployments. And this is the first time this has ever been done like this in space, the first time anything like this has been done in space. And those deployments also went almost perfectly. We couldn't have asked for a better deployment sequence. And these engineers have built us an awesome telescope. And then the last two weeks have really been filled with the telescope continuing to cool and of course, it's been traveling out to this L2 point and really getting the mirrors ready for this next big phase of commissioning, this three-month mirror alignment process.